Well, uh... Fuck, Waffen. Oh. Well, uh... So, the other day I watched this video of a video game where the player shoots the side of the window and the window moves with the shots. Well, fuck it, got views. Anyway, in both the thumbnail and some parts of the video, it looks like one enemy can cut the window in half. I later saw that it didn't, and I got very sad. Sad emoji, sad face. So I decided to create this myself. I started setting up my project with SFML by copying a previous SFML project that I already had and deleted everything. I then started to working on what to do. I first thought of taking a screenshot of the screen and then having that as a background and changing the background position based on where the window was. Now I know some programmers are screaming internally. It's okay. I'm fucking stupid. Yes, yes, it's okay. I first asked ChatGPT how to get the screen pixels and it gave me an answer in Python. I then asked if it could be done in C++. ChatGPT gave me an answer that didn't work. Hippity hoppity. Your code is now my property. And after fixing it, it still didn't work. Uh, hippity hoppity, your code is now my property. When you copy someone's code and it doesn't fucking work. So I went to YouTube and watched a guide and it gave me errors. I tried to fix those errors, but I ended up rage quitting. Eh. I then came across this video by CodeMonkey. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a transparent Unity app. I thought, wow, I'm fucking stupid. Because I didn't realize you could have a transparent window. I then took some time to check how to make a transparent window in OpenGL and voila, I got a transparent window. Hey, let's go. Let's fucking go. Woo! Now the question is how to draw something and make it invisible. I first thought I could draw something invisible on the screen and then make the depth buffer take care of the rest. But I quickly realized SFML doesn't use depth buffers. I then thought of doing a special deferred rendering. Deferred rendering draws the object. But I thought it would be too much work. So I made an SSBO buffer with a bool array of 800 by 600 elements instead of a texture. That didn't work and I still don't know why. So I went back to the special deferred rendering uh, technique that I thought of. So basically I draw the invisible object to a texture and when I draw everything else I check if uh, the object collides and if they do we don't draw anything. So now you can see how it works. Look I made it fucking work let's go. Like whoa. Mm -hmm. oh. So what have we learned from this? SFML is a fucking <laughs> SFML uses old versions of OpenGL, making some things harder to implement than if we just had a newer versions of OpenGL. Bye.